It's all connected. 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 It's on this Monday, October 12th, 2020. 2020! What the hell kind of year is this? Um, anyway, how you doing, Suck? I'm doing good. Good, good, good to hear. Yeah, it's it's autumn, and it's getting cold. Today is the day I turned on the heat of the house. First day, first time? Yeah. Cool. We needed it. Yeah, we needed it. Yeah, well... How are you? Are you that much in autumn? Have you turned on the heat? I have turned on the heat. We had a we had like a, a few days of winter a couple few weeks ago, and then it went back to summer again. So, uh, yeah, I did turn on the heat, and um, yeah, so it works fine. Do you, do you have... <laughs> is it when you turn on the heat, do you have like a date you do it, or do you just go by, okay, now I'm fucking chilly, time to do it? Yeah, I, 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 the date really is unimportant okay. to me. Anyway, from all of the uh, various topics, the five topics that you presented to me earlier this morning, here in the chat, I, I picked one as the title for the show. Ooh. And that is, The Enemies That Are Presented To Us. Yes. And this is episode 13 of the It's All Connected program. Not the episode 13 of, of uh, with Doing with Circle. I'm dating? Wait. Who am I dating? Am I dating Circle? <laughs> Who is, are you is, dating? Is Slash okay with me dating Circle? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? How do you date across the ocean? All right. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, I don't think man. he would be, though. Yeah, I imagine he probably wouldn't be. But then again, I don't think he would feel very threatened about something that isn't here. Well, and that's that's good to know that me being <laughs> whatever many thousands of miles away I am from you, uh, yeah. Yeah, he kind of lives in reality. Darn it! Yeah, Stop right. that! Yeah, I know, I know. The reality stuff. <laughs> so, uh, so enemies, Grimnir. Yeah, that's the topic I picked. However, let's, yeah. let's begin at the beginning on your topic Ooh. idea number one. Yes. The isms that kills us. It should be that kill us, mm. right? Not kills us. I have How Are you asking me about American grammar? I am. The isms that wow. kill us. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to lower your standards there. <laughs> and we'll, we'll start with the, with the link that you sent me. Okay. Sillyism. Sillyism. Yeah. Well, and, and I think they're all sillyisms, although this uh, here just says, sillyism is a noun that is a silly expression, utterance, or idea. But if you look at all the various isms out there, whatever they be, nationalism or, or corporatism or, I don't know, the various, various isms, isms are bad. Now, I, I saw videos oh, some number of years ago, probably back in like 2008 or something, about isms and how isms came here to destroy us, the various communism, socialism, uh, th th those kind of isms uh, where, where, where they, they promise you the world and, and until you sign on the dotted line and suddenly yeah. you've got nothing and they got everything. Those kind of isms. <laughs> yeah. Altruism is fake. Altruism is a lie. Uh, uh, Rome's tr trust no one in, in the uh, chat asks about altruism. Um, yeah, if you um, now, I, I know there's a lot of people out there that have uh, negative feelings uh, towards Miss Ayn Rand, um, uh, but but I have enjoyed her writings, regardless of her past or other things that she's done. Her writings is what I've enjoyed. <laughs> and and she has this one book out there. It's called The Virtue of Selfishness. 
And if, if you read through that, and it's kind of like a uh, bunch of different shorts, things that she put together from interviews or writings or whatever. And she talks about altruism. Um, and, and the fact is, the truly altruistic would give up everything they had to support those that have less or have nothing. And then at that point, they would have less and have nothing. And therefore, their altruism would be ended. So if you really want to be altruistic, the best way to do that is via capitalism. Another ism there for you. Um, <laughs> which may kill us. Um, uh, but but if, you are, if you're a capitalist and, and you uh, garner enough money and, and profits that you can uh, support other people through uh, whatever endeavor it is you're working on, then you could be truly altruistic by providing these people employment and also then also donating to various charities or whatever. But even when you donate to a charity, it's not really altruism because you're getting something out of it. You're, you wouldn't go, go just go pick a, a charity and start donating to them uh, without having something come back to you. And you, generally that's going to be like a good feeling about yourself. I feel good. I donated to charity X here. And that makes me a good person. So you're not really being altruistic. You're doing something to benefit yourself. Right? Yeah, well, um, yeah. I think it's a lot of ego, though, right? Oh, sure, it's a lot of ego. That, that, that's kind of what I was saying there is. Exactly. When, when, you're, when you are helping somebody out, you're feeling uh, like you want to you wanna benefit others uh, at your own expense, of course. Uh, you're doing it because you are getting something back from it. Well, because you, why would you need to label um, doing good deeds? Why would you need to label doing? I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, why would why would you need to to smack on a label and call yourself a name for doing good deeds, and be kindness and generous and giving? Right, right. I, I, why would you need to? Because I'm looking at um, the definition of ism, right? Okay. And it says a distinctive doctrine, cause, or theory. Okay. <laughs> and the second one is an oppressive and especially discriminatory attitude or belief. Uh, I, I kind of like that one, though, right? Mm -hmm. But why would you need, if altruism should be so good, why would you need um, a fixed or distinctive doctrine about doing good and being kind and generous? That, that's what I don't, why, why would you need an ism to do that if it isn't for um, ego? It is, yeah, but, it, but like I said, um, it is. It always is. Uh, mm -hmm. You you are doing it for your own benefit, whatever small benefit that is to you, and however large benefit it is to whoever it is you're showing your altruistic ways to. Mm -hmm. Whether because, they actually because the ism, yeah, well, the ism well, makes it a doctrine, though, right? I, I guess. I hadn't really if you have an ism, that. then you have you, you, an ism is like a fixed set of principles and rules. Yeah, it, it's it's dogmas. It's I am this kind, so I because I I think this this and this, and I react with this this and this. Sure. It's a way of defining something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, all yeah. I guess that, through, that, that through applies. a very fixed set of principles or values or. Yeah, that would apply across all all isms. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what makes it an ism, right? Right, right. right. Yeah. So, so, so being kind and good and re and giving and generous. Why would you need to put that into a system like that? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Then I I started thinking when I read that about isms, right? A distinctive doctrine. Uh, you know, we went into doctrine, which is like dogmas and rules, and and then I thought, okay, what about pragmatism, right? <laughs> That's well, like the opposite of. 
and and the reasons to be pragmatic are um so that you can uh get along well with others right uh i mean so that so that you can uh pragmatism <laughs> it means you're practical, right? Yeah, it means you're that practical. You, that you go about everything, you know, pretty much based in what can be done. <laughs> what can practically be done with what we have and where we are. But but I'll, so that others will see that you're a practical person. Or not. Yeah. No, I would guess not. for some that would be important, right? Well, <laughs> that yeah. Is, I, I mean, went about and said, "Who are you?" Well, I'm a pragmatist. <laughs> right. Well, then it would be then it would be for uh, as a defining of yourself. Well, I, I mean, okay. Let's think like this. Apparently, last week on the radio, Donald Trump said the word "fuck," and uh, <gasps> it, and it freaked a lot of people out. Uh, because um, Trump is not really a pragmatist. He didn't want to. He didn't care uh, to to use another word in that situation. Oh, is that how you use pragmatism? Well, I I, I, I don't. I mean, as, as like likable or agreeable or uh... if if he were a pragmatist, he would have used some other less offensive word. Uh, oh, uh, there, because right? it wasn't practical to making a point, because the point became that one word. Yeah. Right? Yeah, everything, whatever yeah. he was talking about. I don't even know what he was talking about. I just <laughs> hear, hear yeah. it. I just, I just saw that he used the word and uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that became, uh, uh, you know, of the whole, you know, uh, people get also distracted by minor little things. Because they want to be distracted by those minor things, um, uh, ra rather than uh, rather than focusing on the point of what some the, 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 that somebody's trying to make, right? Yeah, well, that that can happen with the isms, though, right? Oh, sure, absolutely. You get absolutely. so stuck on those principles that you just you know that you forget about looking at the content of what you're looking at, and you're just looking at how does it go against all my fucking principles. Right, because you you get laser focused on the one little item, out of out of the out of the whole concept of what's being said. Yeah, the more you yeah, because get, having a cause, right? If you're driven by a cause and you have a cause, what you have is one giant blind spot, though, right? And the more you're in it for the cause, the more bigger of a blind spot you got. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Um, Right, yeah, because I mean, this is the, the, that's your primary focus, and and so external things, which may not actually be external, maybe a part of the entire point of something, uh, you, you don't you don't pay attention to those because you want this to be the item yeah, that's you're, focused on. You're narrowing down your field, right? You're focusing, <laughs> <laughs> and focusing really really just means you know. Letting go of information intake. Yeah, yeah. Or at least narrowing it down completely. Yeah, you got you got your blinders on so you can only see what's yeah. coming through your your tunnel. Do you think there are good isms and bad isms, Grimner? Well, I I don't necessarily think there are good isms and bad isms. I, I think it's the way they're used um, that makes them good or bad. I I mean. Well. Name, name me, name me a bad ism. Well, I'm not sure there is. I think, I think maybe the, if there is such a thing as good and bad, the bad is the um, drive towards making isms. Okay. Uh, yeah. But... That whole idea that we do, uh, that that we need to have isms, like altruism, right? Why do we need altruism? What, what, uh, I don't... Why do we need to define just, you know, doing good stuff? Uh, yeah, it's just somebody wanted to put a put a label on the act of giving selflessly, um, uh, you know, to, to others or doing selflessly 
four others. And so they said, well, that's altruism. Okay. <laughs> all, all right. Well, you call it whatever you want, but you're not, you're still not being selfless in doing it. Um, and you, and you're better off not being completely selfless because if you are completely selfless then you'll be, uh, in the need of, of somebody else's help. And if they, that person becomes an altruist and gives everything to whoever people that need whatever, then they'll be out of luck too. And they're, they'll be in need of somebody else's altruism. <laughs> well, that's because we're social animals. We're not islands. We're social animals. We need each other. Okay. And and we all, you know, we all make the waters we swim in. If you, it's, you know, my grandmother used to say, if you want to get a lot of Christmas cards, you have to send a lot of Christmas cards. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want any. I, no, nobody send me any <laughs> Christmas cards, please. <laughs> <No>. oh. <laughs> but if you want a lot of Christmas cards, try sending out a lot of Christmas cards. Chances are you're going to get a lot of Christmas cards back, right? Yeah. So you people... all, we all create the waters we swim in. All right, all right. Or... So, so that's why that's why you know or, or, being kind uh, and doing good is 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 it and because you know that pivot point about selfishness or selfishness right you know the point is that we're all in an ecosystem so when you put good out you're creating good for whatever you're living in for yourself right and I guess if you enjoy Christmas cards and. You want yeah. to receive Christmas cards, you send them out to people. And if you want smiles, then try smiling at people. It's it's really that simple. If you want a world full of love, then you give a lot of love, and the world is going to give it back to you. It's really simple because it's, a, it, you know, and you don't need all these isms to, to uh, you know, fuck that up. Right, but there's always going to be isms, isn't there? We, of course there is, because okay. for some reason, <laughs> that's, you know, for some reason, the human mind need to put everything into systems and label and box it. And I understand that I need, I do that a lot myself. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and I've decided from all this, you know, thinking about isms for today, I've decided, okay, I've, I'm going to be a silliest. A silly I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try my very, very best to live my life as a silly expression. Practice silliism. Yeah, like a pragmatic silliest. <laughs> All right. Or or a silly pragmatist. I haven't figured that out yet. But yeah, I mean, there's there's uh, going to be um, negative connotations to almost every ism. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean they need to be. No. Right. No. I, I mean, take take something, take those those the terrible ones, the terrible ones, socialism and communism. They sound horrible uh, in because of the way they've always been practiced throughout history. But neither communism nor socialism have to be bad as long as people are allowed to do them voluntarily and not forced into it. Um, but when, when a country, a nation, goes uh, socialist or communist, then they force you into it, just like in the you know in the United States you're supposed to be a republic, uh, democratic republic, uh, whatever they want to call it here, um, but they force you into being if you're born here. They say you're part of this, this this thing. You're a citizen because you were born here. Well, I don't I don't have a need to be a citizen. There's no what's the benefit of being a citizen? How is that helping me? And it's not. It's it's a, it it causes them to be able to, you know, do fines and fees and taxes and all that upon you. Um, but look at all the additions, because socialism and communism um, are, are economical theories. They're economical systems. Right. They say nothing about uh, social structures or socio-political things. Right, but but in in the just in like a, capitalism, it's about it's about you know the economical structure. But 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 in the sense that um, communism just means you're you're living communally, right? Yeah, well, communism just basically means that um, 
um, the people who work the production lines are the one who owns the production. Well, lines. If, if yeah, but generally that's going to be the state in the way that it's always been done throughout history. So whatever. No, or the party. <laughs> or the party. Well, the party. The party. The state. Yeah. Same, same, yeah. same. Same basic idea. Well, that's what the whole thing of, of, of Russia was, though, right? Was this endless swapping between the ownership between state and party. Yeah. But you could say, in a free, truly free world, you could say, mm. I'm going to start up a, uh, a communist um, group here or a communist area. And if you want to come in and be part of this, then we will share, uh, you know, the benefits and detriments of everything that's going on here uh, with, within our community. If you want to join us, not yeah. we will force this upon you whether you like it or not, and we will control everything. Uh, but you see, and now we go into the uh, point three and four, though, right? And the one you started with. The well, enemies that that are presented to us. We did miss the uh, dangerous thoughts. Or I know, I know, I don't really, but we can come back to that. Though, okay, okay. So the all, en- all right. right? The, so three and four, the enemies that are presented to us. And because you went into it, right? Because that's the thing. And the friends that the are presented to us. The friends that are presented. To and us, the right? choices we are given. Oh yes, <laughs> the, taint, the tainted choices, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, very tainted. Yes. Uh, because see, you as you said, you know, communism, socialism, it's all been made into this the big evil boo boo of the planet though, right? Right. Because Everything bad that happens, you know, every mind fuckery, every control takeover, every non democratic whatever, it's all it's all been put on, you know, communism. Well, and in all fairness, communism is just the finance you know, it's just an economical system. Mm-hmm. But we made it into, and I'm not a communist, so I'm not, this is not a defense on communism. <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, like I said, in, any, any system, regardless of what the ism of it is, if you're doing it through force or coercion, then it's a bad system. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is for people like me, anyway, that like freedom. <laughs> And, but and, if you look at all those enemies that are presented, right? First of all, they're all like isms. It's, it's like you're getting a list of isms that are, you know, bad. Right. Yeah. And today and it's from, either, is it technologism or scientism or, uh, mm-hmm. I, I mean, in the free parts, I say, and I use that word very loosely, the free parts of the world. Um, <laughs> cause there's, yeah. there's really no free parts of the world left. I don't, I'm not sure there were, you know, unless it was century, a millennia ago. Uh, no. yeah. Do you, do you have any enemies, Grimner? Do I have any enemies? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. You don't have a kill list hanging on your No, <laughs> no kill list, no beat up <laughs> list, no do harm to list. And I, I have nothing like that. Um, no. Yeah, I I mean, I have, there are people out there, I'd rather they do things differently than they do, but they're not my enemies. I I don't, I don't see them as people I need to destroy in order to get my way. Uh, (laughs) No, No, I don't have any enemies either. And as far as I know, nobody considers me their enemy for, you know, doing what I do or saying what I say. Um, So... As far as I know, there's no. I, I have no enemies. No, I don't think you have any enemies either. Yeah, the state. I, I wish they'd go away, but again, the state's not actually. I mean, it's not a person. It's a. It's a thing. So. Um, <laughs> so so uh, I I I do consider myself to be an enemy of the state. If you can be the enemy of a concept. Uh, you know, because I because I do want them to go away. I don't. I don't. I have no need or purpose for the state, and and they are the ones, or they are the thing, I guess, um, uh, that you know constricts my freedom, right? 
Yeah. Well, uh, they try to. Though. Yeah, they, well, they do. They try to, yeah. 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 So but maybe, you know, maybe maybe also a little, you know, I am maybe a little guilty of making that into a caricature. When okay. you go into the, you know, the enemy. Yeah, well, they, becomes... they, they, they are the enemy that's presented to you from your whole life. For your whole life. Yeah, but they they are presenting themselves as your friend, though. They are presenting themselves as your friend. They and they want you to believe the, that they are your friend, and a large number, a large percentage of the population does believe that the state is there for their benefit. Mm -hmm. And yes. it's simply or, not. Or as it said in the chat, sometimes the state is just people. The state is which, just... which, which, which I'm, you know, it's a, it's a very nice way of uh, making the most deadly, destructive, violent beast into something that isn't so dangerous. But um, that's just the Stockholm syndrome speaking, though. Sure. I, I mean, you take something, you take something like the uh, uh, the U.S. Constitution. Hmm. They they say that document is what created the state. And it, it was, you know, generated by a bunch of rich white guys back in back in the day, and they said, "We have we have now declared ourselves to be a state, which will rule over you all, and but you and <laughs> you will do this, whatever it is we say, or we will do bad and nasty things to you." Although they don't use those words, that that's that's what it comes down to. But it's not real. It's not a thing. It's not real. It, <laughs> it's not. It's an abstract. Um, you know, it's an abstract ghost of people's imagination. It's not real. Well, it's not real. You, but you can't order it on the on the deep web, though. But uh, but enough folk. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get me a state here, please. Uh, yeah. how, how much would that be? Uh, <laughs> it's you know, not real. Uh, anybody can declare themselves a state, but uh, uh, unless you have uh, the 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 belief in your authority um, over others, then then your state is is non-existent. But in a place or in a, you know, a state that people believe in like they do here in the, well, everywhere, I guess, um, they believe in the state because the state will come and kill you if you, if, if you do things against what their doctrines um, allow you for. Uh, yes, the violence of the isms are very real. The violence of the people who believe this shit is very real. Right. But state is, is, state is nothing. State is nothing. I'm going to say, you know, Oof is sort of right, though. You know, as long as state owns material, then the material is something. Okay. Yeah, but, but by material, you mean area and property and... Yeah, and human beings and... Things such as that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't see... If you can't buy it on the deep web, it's not real. Anything that's real, you can you can buy on the deep web. Okay. Have you ever bought anything on the deep web? No. Where no. is where is this deep web? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, say I, I know nothing. Say, say I wanted to go visit the deep web and buy whatever is real. Um, well, I wouldn't be able to help you. Yeah. Okay. Me either. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying that uh so so pretty much so and and if okay, let's just you know, I know it's this insane point to go with that state isn't real, but let's go with it. So if the state presents both enemies and friends to you, how real are those? Well, if you consider uh well, who would you consider the friends presented to you by the state? Um, I, I guess that well, would be... See, and that's fun, right? Because in the old days, Grimnir, the good guys and the bad guys used to be a sort of fixed thing, right? The banks were the good guys, the bank robbers were the bad. You know, we knew that. 
Right, until you realize the banks were the ones that were really robbing you. But nowadays, they switch it over all the time. The media throw the banks into (laughs) into the gutter all, all the time, and so the state. So they just, you know, they flip-flop now between the, the caricatures, right? So now you don't even have a fixed spy versus spy, good versus evil, black and white. Well, now you have to, you know, maneuver in this where the guy who was good yesterday is an asshole today, and tomorrow he's going to save you from the collapse. <laughs> you know, the right. fuck? <laughs> but since the banks actually control the state, um, which... <laughs> I guess that's another topic. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you um, believe in heroes? If you if you don't have any enemies, you know the other side of the, of the enemy or the villain is the hero. Well, you see that that gets into personality, uh, cult of personality there, heroes, mm-hmm. and um, because those heroes will most likely some point down the line, um, disappoint you. And then you'll question, why Why was I holding this person up so high? Why, I mean, they, they, I like what they did on, on this certain time, but uh, I, I don't, you know, th- now they've done this thing, which makes me feel disgusted or whatever feeling it makes for you. Um, <laughs> hey, Vinny, um so uh no i don't I don't have heroes i have people yeah. i have i have people that have done actions that I admire, and I have people that have done actions that I despise or just don't and, like and wouldn't you say that the biggest douchebag could say something wise that would make oh absolutely think absolutely. Karl Marx said some great things, but he was a horrible human being. Mao Zedong, good stuff coming out of him, but mostly just a nasty, murdering scumbag. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, See, Hitler, I, can, I can get, you know, I, can good, find, I can find wisdom in a statement or a perspective or a concept that was thought out by a bad human being. You know, Hitler said a lot of good things, but what a disgusting piece of human garbage. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, so. Uh, Still haven't found a tweet from Donald Trump that makes me go, oh, good point. That I haven't yeah, tried that yet. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, not really. I can't, I can't think of any either. I was, I was trying to pull one up in my head, but nah. Mm. Nah. nah. <laughs> some of them are funny. I mean, sometimes he says really funny stuff, you know, uh, when he's. Uh, disregarding somebody he uh, had a disagreement with. Ah, nasty ass person. <laughs> okay. You know, that's, I'm kind of puzzled at that though, right? That you have a whole, you know, and I'm not, I don't know how bad it is, but when you come from Denmark, it looks like it's kind of bad that you have, have a whole media and public attitude that are pretty much just our president is an idiot and a danger to all of us. Danger to the world. <laughs> how, what kind of discourse is that? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, Rob Works is asking, you read Trump tweets? Um, well, let me just say, I read them if I see them. I don't go out looking for them. Uh, but I do, on Twitter, follow Donald Trump, not because I like him, but so I can see what he's got to say. Uh, because, you know, you got to keep your eye on the on the opposition, right? Those that are wishing to control you and eliminate your freedoms. And and Trump is really big on eliminating people's freedoms, as are all the politicians, which, by the way, uh, America, land of the free, uh, you never see or hear any politician. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's my boy. <laughs> so, but you never hear or see any politician talking about how they are going to increase your freedom only how they are going to create more rules controlling you and stealing from you. Um, that's because that's because they're all working on the same project. Absolutely, they're they're all they're all project. exactly. Uh, I mean, yeah. there, there's no you know they say oh on the other side as if there's two sides. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, it's like uh, give me a break. It's called keeping the monopoly on violence. 
That's the sure. project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then they'll pick a few key issues that they know certain percentage of the people are going to disagree with. And they'll say, we're on your side on this. And the other guys on the other side will say, we're on your side on these other things that you like. <laughs> but they're on the same team. Yeah, and and on <laughs> ninety, on you know, ninety, ninety-five percent of the issues, they're a hundred percent in agreement with each other. But they ignore all that. They just ignore it, these few little key issues that are going to get you get your hackles up. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's it's all about the, and you see, it's all about presented, right? It's the enemies and friends, and the good and the bad, and the the ideas in the Discord course that you are presented with. Right, right. That's what it is. Oh, wait. Hansel just pointed out in ism here that I can find no good side too. Fascism. Is there is there any good goodness at all to fascism? <laughs> is there a way to, is there a way to do that that's not a horrible thing? That 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 my... <laughs> Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I can't really think of any <laughs> any any good uh, aspects to fascism. <laughs> yeah, cuz I have one word, you know, on my notes for today which you know pretty much says what I have to say about that, and that's the word caricature, right? Okay. Yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> throw it out, throw it up. Come on, come on. Fascism, that's a caricature by itself. Is it? Well, okay, you close your eyes and you tell me what you think of when you hear the word fascism. Because well, I know what I'm thinking. I'm uh, thinking silly <laughs> Italians in weird boots. Yeah, Mussolini. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, Mussolini, that's what I, what I think of in, in all of the... I mean, he he was a horrible, horrible person that did horrible, horrible things. And he pretty much yes. uh, created the term fascism. Yeah. And um, yeah, but the, but there's to me, I, I I just don't know of anything good uh, that that can come from a fascism. I don't know if you can probably connect practical fascism. I don't know. Yeah, well, fascism. well, I mean practical, <laughs> but for a very tiny tiny percentage yeah. of the population. I'm a I'm a I'm a pragmatic fascist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. right. No, no, you're a silliest. All oh, right, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, too. Come on. It's it's silly, Jadred. And you're if you're listening, it's you're being silly. <laughs> you know, glorifying fascism. Come on. Okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> just silly. So sillyism is the answer to fascism. Yeah, I would say so. Or, but then again, wouldn't you say you could turn sillyism into fascism? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Are you a flashist? Of course. You're a flashist, so you practice flash flashism. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the number one flashist out there. Yeah, you may be the only flashist out there. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> It's, it's the new, the new religion of circle, oh, Fla -fla oh. flashism. She's a, she goes to the flashist yes. uh, uh, church. I'm trying to lure you though, right, into the big show. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try though. I'm not giving up. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, then let's go into the, uh, because, you know, Jay Dredd's little tour to fascism um, kind of led us into the topic number two, right? The dangerous thoughts. Yes, those are dangerous thoughts. Yeah, and I've been thinking a lot with all these, um, because you have the Black Lives Matter thing, and we have like a second wave Me Too going on in Denmark that's really stupid, too. Um, and... Uh, you know, topic number two was the dangerous thoughts, though, right? Yeah, dangerous thoughts, uh, dangerous uh, usage of words. Uh, yeah. Uh, but see, isn't, uh, isn't all this uh, Me Too and Black Lives Matter and all that, isn't that like um, sort of on the war against the wrong thoughts, though? Well, it's... 
the thoughts that whoever are part of those collective groups uh, mm-hmm. want you to believe are the wrong thoughts when you look at what they have to say. However, it's they have the wrong thoughts <laughs> and from, from my perspective. <laughs> Yeah, but maybe they well, you know, I mean, that's well, because all this made me think about, um, I don't, I, you know, that whole thing about being against thoughts, you know, trying to police and change thoughts, that's a horrible thing, right? That kind yeah. of leads over into fascism, doesn't it? Well, it, it does, but, and then you, you think of how they try to get people into their, um, their belief setup, their belief system. It is with those dangerous thoughts they they want you to uh, uh like the like the black lives matter uh they they want you to believe that if you're white which you have no control over how you were born who you were born to um but if you're white uh then, then you should feel bad about who you are and it's like well i had no control of, yeah but your your ancestors were were slave owners how do you know? I don't know, even know my own ancestors. Of course, I'm not really. But one. how can how can but. you go into governing thoughts, though? I just think that's really scary, right? So, so maybe there's like. Um, well, it's through the control of the language. That's how they do it. Um, yeah, because they're they're moving into some of those. It's very, you know, it's it's a little it's a little difficult to uh, defend racism and sexism, right? I, I but I will do it. I can do that. Right? Okay, you I go for that. You, try, you know, you try that out. Go ahead. No, well, well, you know, I don't think that, well, it's thoughts. I think you need to separate thoughts from actions. And uh, I would never defend, um, um, pe- you know, people doing racist acts. But right. I have no way of controlling and Why would I try to control and ban people's thoughts? It's just really dangerous because you're kind of tampering with the cognitive way of how people are structured, though. Yeah. Well, and 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 that I mean the the, the racism, the sexism, the nationalism, the very just if, other if isms, thoughts, they all come right? on, they all come under the a bigger heading collectivism. Uh, when yep. when you, when you uh, put people into groups and say. These people are the are, you know are bad because of whatever one person in that group did, which they're not part of a group. They're individuals. If you look at everybody's individuals, you eliminate the collectivism, which should then eliminate the the racism and the sexism and the nationalism. Yeah, but but, but I'm wondering if you want to you know if if because I you know if I wanted to defend free thought right. Right. And say there is no thought that should be made illegal or bad. It's a thought. It's a thought. It's not an action, right? If we just separate thought and action for just one moment, right? Because then it starts getting difficult because how do you defend the, the pedophile thoughts? I, I, you don't, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I would, though, right? Well, you would. But, okay, I, I mean, how do you control or somebody? Or bestiality ha- or other stuff that I find appalling if you start acting on it, but doesn't really isn't my concern if they are your thoughts. Right, but but you ask, how do you control somebody's thoughts? Because you can't. And, and you, you have to, you have, well, they do it through bombardment. Of, of information that they want you to believe, uh, regardless yeah. of the fact of the actual truth truth of that information. But it goes back, you know, you, of course, read uh, George Orwell's 1984, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, many, many, many years ago in school, though. Okay. Well, you, you've seen the movie since. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, but, yeah. so you remember, they take the guy. Uh, in the room 101 there, right? And he says, he holds up three fingers or two fingers, I forget what he was. He says, how many fingers am I holding up? And the guy looks at it and says, three. And he goes, bam! And he smacks him or does something bad to him. Mm. No, there's four. And he says, oh, I'm looking at it right there. I see three. Bam! There's four. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they, they, force you to believe that three is actually four because 
uh, that's how they want, that's how the, the system, the state, the party, whatever you want to call it, uh, that, that's how it's set up, is to program you to believe what they tell you is true and to reject what you see for your own self. Yeah, it is said that the Russian USSR, they had a 98% cure rate of homosexuality. Uh-huh, sure they did. All right. <laughs> you know, into a deep pit, are you still a homosexual? Okay, no? Okay, then you can come on out. It's, and it's just punishment, but it doesn't really do anything other than pervert everything, though. And right. and I'm you know you got all this when you you're making thoughts criminal right right because they're thoughts they're thoughts or beliefs or for most people most people don't even control their own thoughts right you do however control your own actions hopefully yeah otherwise you you probably shouldn't walk around anyways well you know there's there's a lot of programmed people out there they. They, they they've been bombarded with with this information that they the uh, whoever it is yeah. uh, wants you to believe they've been bombarded with it bang 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 and so now their actions are kind of controlled by their thoughts that have been programmed into them rather than truly thinking for themselves. Which is a beautiful segue into the last topic, which are the the tainted. I added tainted though, right? Uh -oh, the tainted you? choices we are given. Oh, let me, let me add that into the notes here. Tainted. Ooh, tainted. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I like that. Tainted love. Tainted love. Who, who was, who's that? Who, who band did that? Um, I, uh, it is not the page mode. <laughs> no, it's not. It's like, <laughs> no, it's it's like not. 10cc or something. I, I don't know. Yeah, um, well, I keep, because I really like the Marilyn Manson version, though. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 I like the original too, but I like Marilyn Manson. Yeah. But in in that sense, soft right? sell. Thank you, Moose. Soft sell. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but you see, it's and the 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 point of that sentence though is the given, right? The given. Yeah, the choices you are given. Ah, yes, the choices because you are that, that's given. that's how you are controlled, is through the choices you are given. Right, right. Because most people forgot that they um, they have, hold the power of creation, right? Uh, most people probably never realized they had that power in the first place. That's why you're here. That's why we're all here. We were. That's what the whole thing is, the point. The whole is point to create is shit. to create? Okay. I yeah. thought, I thought personally, the whole purpose here is to be entertained and to have a good time because... That's the same. Okay. Do you not, do you not feel awesome when you create shit? I, I do, sure, but, but you can just be an observer of other people's creations and... Then you create new thoughts, unless you're really just blank observing. Yeah. Wow. So you know yeah, this this program. I, it's I not a poor existence. I know you're right. It's this, this this program, it's all connected. Mm -hmm. um, and I, maybe it started out that way. I I don't know, but we're we're basically a philosophical discussion group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're a group. Well, there's two of us. Two makes a group, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pair. But you see. Because that is, but that is, you know, that's the whole given is the lie, right? And now Vincent, I hope Vincent is listening because the cake is a lie, though. The cake is a lie. I yes, saw that. The I choices saw that. you are given, that is the lie. I saw that. That you are diagram. given choices and your life is to live it out and choose between what you are given. That is the lie. I wonder how many people know the term, the cake is a lie, the phrase but never don't realize where it came from. <laughs> well, it's a lead in the computer game, though. Yeah. Well, that was a lie. Yeah. It, it's because that's what it is. It is. It is. <laughs> it's a big fuck up. It's another smoke screen so that you won't look where you're supposed to look. Right. 
So that's, and that's the whole point. Most, you know, a lot of people and state will define freedom as the amount of choices you are given. The more choices you have, the more free you are to make a choice, right? You would think. When, when the truth is that freedom comes in creating choices, to be in resistance of what is given to you, what is laid out, and to remember that uh, there is always the choice that hasn't been created yet, right? Mm -hmm. there, you can, if you have A, B, C, and D, there is always the choice of blue or 17 or whatever choice you want to create from it. Right. And right. In that, that's what, you know, that's what, in that resistance of what is given to you, what is presented to you, right? Right. Even though most people will only pick from the menu of choices that are presented to them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like this idiotic American election thing they got going on. They tell you, you get to pick A or B. Well, they're both horrible. That's all right. That's what you got to pick from. Although, I think if you look at the, the uh, thing you're checking the boxes on, there are probably other choices there below A and B that you don't even look at because you've been told for however long they've been out there campaigning, that's the word, brainwashing, um, uh, that these are your choices, A and B. So if you see a choice C, don't don't even think about it. It's, that's not for you. <laughs> or you take that ballot, right? Is yeah. it a physical paper ballot where you are? I I I think so. I, I, I you think take that one, right? Okay. Right. Okay. And then you roll a little spliff and you use it as a filter at the end, so your spliff will be nice and cone shaped. Yeah, that's tainted paper right. though. Just like just other tainted things, that's tainted paper. I, 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 and then you go sit in a park and you smoke it up, and that's your other choice. Yeah, I would use um, a regular rolling paper or a pipe or a bong or whatever, and I, and that that paper would not even be good enough to wipe my ass with. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I I want no part of their paper. <laughs> what kind of ism is that? You have some principles there, hard grimnerism. It's a rejectionism, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I will I will I will admit I have smoked spliff off the last at least five uh voting ballots I got with the mail. Really? Yeah. You're not you're not concerned about the nasty inks they use or No. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Not even. No. Yeah. Right. If that's gonna kill me, then that's a beautiful way to go. All right. What did she die of? She had election tumors all over her Oh, the poor thing. Yeah. Well, she died with a smile on her lips. Yes. That, that's a good thing. All right. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, man. And yeah. her filters. So, okay. So, so just to return, should, do you think there should be um, thoughts that should be criminal? No. No, no, no sense. I, I, I mean, first off, you don't know what somebody's thoughts are. <coughs> I mean, they can, they can say this is what I'm thinking, but even when they tell you this is what I'm thinking, doesn't mean they actually are thinking what they're telling you they're thinking. About ten years ago in Denmark, they shut down a website. It, it's a graphical artist who does beautiful art. But all his art was very bestiality, pedophilia, violent, raping young babies while ripping their guts out, and really nasty pedophilia, BDMS stuff, right? All right. And they closed down his website. Because? Yeah. I mean, it's art, it's right? Like... It's art. It's not, it's not like photographs of people doing these things, right? They tr no, no, no. It was it. No, that's what he said. It's ink on paper. It's, it's art. literally ink on paper and pixels on the screen. Now did, they did, tried to make it a criminal case, but they couldn't because he'd done nothing illegal. Right. But they took down his site. Oh, Eventually, well, I've, they I've, got it so that nobody would host it. Yeah. Well, he could have hosted it himself, but that's a whole other. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I just 
not even funny because, you know, would you defend that, right? Yeah, it's art. It's just art. Uh, It's it's, It's ugly, though. It's ugly. And uh, uh, maybe that, maybe to him, that's his outlet so he doesn't actually go out and do these things. Yeah, I think he was more making tons of money doing really controversial shit, but... Okay, whichever, you know. Um, So, so, but, but, uh, I mean... I, I, I can't understand why... Why, why that would be a thing they would ban, even if not really ban, just force people into not not allowing the guy to use their equipment. Um, but it's just, you know, it's the same as making racism illegal, right? Cause yeah, you can. It's, it's, it's a value system. It's a... Right, well, you know, you take take something like what they, what they call here, I don't know if they have it over there, but in, here in the States, uh, if you... Uh, attack somebody that's different than you in some way they call that a hate crime but then again i mean you know aren't most all crimes hate crimes in in some way or another like you walk into a store and and steal whatever they have there money or, or property um you're doing that because you feel personally that if you you should have what they have because you hate them for being better than you. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know. But it's kind of a thought that, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole lot of ego. I mean, let's say, let's say there's two absolutely white guys out there, and one of them calls the, the other one whitey or something and then punches them in the head. Now, the punching in the head, I can see that that's, that's, a, that's a crime. That's a physical attack. Uh, but calling somebody whitey and you're white, wouldn't that make you a racist against white people, even though you're white? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you see, a friend of mine asked me, uh, he told me that uh, 20 years ago at a bar, a homosexual guy made a pass at him and, uh, you know, uh, grabbed his butt. Okay. And his his response was to turn around and pop the guy one in the face, right? <laughs> sure, that's... Yeah. And now he's asking himself, so was that guy um, sexually harassing me and I was in my right to punch him? Grabbed, or was I not being, you know, tolerant enough about minorities? So when, somebody, when somebody touches you in some manner that, yeah. That, yeah. You, that you did not appreciate uh, or invite, then, then that's it. I mean, you know, you could punch him because he, he, yeah. he attacked you first. So that that's but they said my friend said, well, what ended up happening is, you know, I bought him a beer and we hung out in the bar, <laughs> which is where we should all be, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, let's yeah. all go have a beer at the place where we can smoke weed and, and drink. <laughs> 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 all right, guys, we're, we're, out, we're out of time here. Oh, we're out of time. Um, I, I've had a, this has been a fun discussion. Um, I yeah. Thought. And uh, you, you put up some great topics, and, and we used them all. Um, well, we did connect it. Well, they are all connected. Everything is. Yeah. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. the cake is a lie. And the cake is a massive lie. And and the choices you are given are generally bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So stop, stop going for the cake. Yeah. You will never reach it. Make your own, make your own choices um, uh, and from your own brain and not from the programming that's been shoved into you. Which I know it's hard to separate. Uh, yeah. It's hard, it's hard to realize what you've been programmed with versus what is your own actual uh, thoughts, which have to actually come from all the information you've been that's been shoved into your head in one way or another. Um, yep. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all. We'll be back next week with uh, episode thank four, you, 14. Uh, this was 13. Uh, Flash will be on tomorrow, hopefully, uh, with In a Perfect World. And um, just check the schedule on reallyremedy.com for all the rest of the shows. And if you want to do a show, let me know. All right, we'll talk to you all later. Peace.